Throughout your time learning mathematics, you're going to come across lots of triangles. And I mean lots of triangles. So you need to understand the different tri triangles that are out there and their features and what is different between each one. Let's look at these triangles one by one. The first type we're going to look at is what we call the scalene triangle. The scalene triangle has two main features. It has no equal sides and it has no equal angles. So all the sides in a scalene triangle are different and all the angles in a scalene triangle are different. That's why they're marked in different colors. Then we have the isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle, it has two equal sides. Two equal sides and two equal base angles. Two equal base angles, meaning that the two angles on the base are going to be equal. They are adjacent, they are next to the two equal sides. So whenever you think of isosceles triangle, you know straight away the two angles that are adjacent to the two sides are also equal. Then we have what we know as the equilateral triangle and as the name suggests equilateral triangle meaning all the sides are equal. All the sides are equal. So if one side was seven all the other sides are going to be seven. Now a very important concept or a very important feature in equilateral triangles is that they have also three equal angles and the three each one is 60 degrees. It doesn't change whether the triangle has a side of 10, a triangle that is equilateral has a side of 100, it doesn't matter. The angle will always be 60, 60 and 60. So in an equilateral triangle the angles are always 60 degrees each. Then we have what we know as the right angle triangle. Very easy. Right angle triangle meaning it has a right angle made up 90 degrees. Then we have the acute angle triangle, again, acute angled meaning all the angles, the three angles in this triangle are all going to be acute, less than 90 degrees each. And lastly, we have the obtuse angle triangle, again, as the name suggests, the angle in it is obtuse. It has one obtuse angle which is larger than 90 degrees. Now lastly, one point I'd like to mention is that all triangles, in all their shapes, in all their sizes, whatever type of triangle you have, they all have three angles and all the angles will add up to 180 degrees. Remember that, no matter what triangle, what shape, what size, all triangles have the angle sum of 180 degrees.